Hello and welcome to Scott's United, where I, Scott, and my team of Scots, who are also me, as well as my dog, bring you the latest in movies, television, and popular culture. So, here we are, and let's not wait a moment, because The Crown is back. Let's go to Scott and hear all about The Crown, Season 3. Hey Scott, just out here walking with me and the Divine Miss M. You know, wearing my new hat. Okay, you have a new hat, so uh, let's get to The Crown, come on. Now, I feel like I look my most Irish wearing this, you know, maybe giving you a little, uh, a little newsboy feel. I mean, I think, I mean, you're a little old to be. I, I know, I'm a little old to be a newsboy. Okay, all right. So I'm here to talk to you, though, about Mrs. Fletcher on HBO. Mrs. Fletcher. Okay, so that's, that's not the crown, though. So we, like any sane cultured person in this world, know that Catherine Hahn is just an American treasure and is the star. Now this is one of those hybrid shows where it's a half hour, but it's a drama. But I think it's, it's good. I think they decided to adapt the book, which is by the same guy that wrote The Leftovers, whose name escapes me. I have read this book too, so I certainly have some prior investment. But when I heard Catherine Hahn was playing the lead role, I was just like, yes, yes, give me this. This is what I want, this is what I need. I mean, Catherine Hahn is fabulous, yes although we're still not talking about The Crown. And so far, it's brave, it's bold, it's interesting. I mean, yes, it has the, I think it's like ubiquitous now on TV shows, the, the douchey child growing into adulthood who doesn't appreciate their, ki their parents and whom the parents have no control over, which I'm just kind of tired of seeing, but it's, it's in the book. And, you know, there's an arc to the book that I'm curious to see play out on screen. I'm curious to see how The Crown Season 3 plays out on screen. And yes, like we've said before on Scotch United, really some of the best shows these days. They're a little bit dramatic, a little bit comedic, they're real, and they're interesting. And that is Mrs. Fletcher. And you know, it is true. I mean, we see so many shows now blending drama, comedy, tragedy even. And uh, hey, that's why I'm excited to see how Olivia Coleman, Oscar winner Olivia Coleman, is gonna be playing uh, Queen Elizabeth because, you know, she has those comedic chops to bring some interesting, uh, you know, timing to the role. Okay, uh, what, oh, oh, okay, so uh, here's what's happened. Apparently, Scott was, was delayed. Uh, no, I'm getting that he, uh, he filmed a segment about The Crown season three and it got digitized, dumped, and just destroyed. So, I guess we're gonna have to take this one. Um, uh, Margo, have you, uh, can you uh, fill time perhaps so I can watch the first couple episodes? So, okay, we're back, and listen. Um, the opulence, the, the, the regalness, none of it's lost. It, it transitions well from the old cast to the new. Season 3, though, feels every bit the same, but yet different. Um, Olivia Coleman is truly great in the first two episodes. Helena Bottom Carter, even though she's eight years older than Olivia Coleman, is playing her younger sister, but... I think it works. Um, Helena Bonham Carter has held up well. Plus, you know, all the smoking and drinking, you gotta expect Margaret to, to age a bit. So it was almost smart, perhaps, for them to cast an actress older to play younger. Now, we haven't seen any bit of Prince Charles yet, but we will. It's starting in the 1960s. They got uh, John Lithgow coming back to play... Uh, Churchill just before he dies. So they're definitely bridging out of season two, out of the old cast, into the new, with style, with levels, with some intrigue, and uh, it's juicy, and we're going to watch more. So maybe you will too. Um, there's so many good shows on, more to talk about, you know, more movies to see. I uh, will Every week we're going to bring you more stuff. So thank you for joining us for Scott's United. And uh, we'll see you again soon.